There's no spirit like Denton, spirit like no spirit we know. Everything about it is impressive. Things are going great all over town. Denton's attitude is so progressive, and we would never let you down. My name is Laura Treat, and I'm the Moving Image Archivist at the University of North Texas Library. As a Moving Image Archivist, it's my job to preserve uh, the films in our collection, ranging from educational and training films to promotional films and television news. Well, I come from a really long line of genealogists and local history enthusiasts, so I guess it's kind of in my blood to be a history detective. Nothing really gives me more pleasure than searching for and uncovering uh, the more hidden stories in our motion picture history. So right before I came to work at UNT in 2015, my mom gave me this really great book called The Legendary Locals of Denton. And in the book, it had just this briefest mention of a film called Dynamic Denton from 1968. And I had to see it. Um, and I really thought that somewhere on campus, somewhere in one of our libraries, we'd have a copy. But it turned out that we didn't. So I made it my mission to find this film. And after a lot of searching, we finally found a copy of it, along with some other home movies dating back to the 1930s um, with the Denton Chamber of Commerce, who ultimately donated the films to UNT. Dynamic Denton is the directorial debut of Joe Camp before he went on to make the Benji films. And it also stars future Miss America, Phyllis George. On the surface, it's interesting because it lets us see our town and our people in a different era. On another level, it's interesting to compare how the Chamber of Commerce wanted outsiders to view our town as compared to another film shot in the same time period and the same region, the anti-establishment film Bonnie and Clyde. In the last two years, I've really focused on preserving these types of materials, including promotional films made about North Texas State University. Here we have films made in 1963, and again a decade later in 1974. They offer interesting points of comparison for our changing city and university geographies. They show us how the university wanted to be seen by outsiders at different points in our history. In 2015, I was awarded a Common Heritage Grant from the National Endowment for the Humanities to preserve and provide access to Denton County's motion picture histories. This project really had several goals. First and foremost, we wanted to provide families with digital copies of their home movies so that they could watch them together and with future generations. We also wanted to provide the community with free, unrestricted, long-term access to them. We wanted to encourage engagement and dialogue with public history and to expand the historical record for researchers and scholars. In 2016, community members were invited to bring their home movies to UNT and to the Denton Public Library for free digitization by myself and archivists at the Texas Archive of the Moving Image. At the end of the project, we digitized over 33,000 feet of motion picture film and about 100 hours of videotape, as well as photographs and slides. All of these materials are now available online through the portal to Texas history. Now, a lot of people didn't think that their home movies were of historical value. They, they took a lot of convincing. They said, you know, I don't know why people would want to watch this. They're about babies. They're about family. They thought they were boring or ordinary. And I guess for me, what's most interesting about them is that they're ordinary. Like a diary or a letter, they're about everyday lives being lived by everyday people. But unlike a letter or a diary, they don't just tell us about it, they show us. Obviously, it's easy to see 
the historical value of a home movie when it documents a historical event or a person. Like here in this home movie footage of the September 22, 1973 dedication ceremony for the DFW International Airport, which includes footage of guests including former Dallas Mayor Eric Johnson, John Connolly, and Governor Dolph Briscoe. Footage can also seem historic and valuable when it's obviously older and distant from our way of life, as in this film of a ranching family on 141 Ranch near Junction, Texas. Or if it evidences some damage from the ravages of time, like this footage of a young family, approximately 1943. Yes, there are plenty of cute children, and babies, and pets in these films. One of the reasons many people bought film cameras was to document the arrival of a new baby. In these three clips, we see Virginia McNeil bringing home her two babies from Flo Hospital, and then her granddaughter coming home from the same place. You can learn a lot by looking closely at what locations, events, and people families choose to film. Like babies and cute children, there are some common home movie subjects. One of the most basic is where they lived. Clearly, this can tell us a lot about socioeconomic status, architecture, and the geographies of our cities. I love watching holidays, especially Christmas, because I like to see the presents that people get. For people without a lot of expendable income, most movies are likely to include many Christmases, because people had to choose wisely what events they captured. Home movie holidays are especially rich for historians looking at issues of class, race, gender, and even consumer culture. Home movies also show how in different families, in different regions, we celebrate or observe the milestones in our lives, including baptisms, birthdays, graduations, weddings, and even death. Everyone loves a parade, and this is a frequently filmed event. Parades are great because they show us the different people and organizations that are active in a community, as well as the changing geography of our city's downtowns. Other community activities that are prominent in films collected from North Texas families were marching bands, drill teams, and of course football.
It's also interesting to observe how people of a particular region spend their free time and of course their free money. Whether it's leisure activities like fishing, hobbies like model planes and rockets, or enrolling kids in soccer programs. We can also see families visiting Texas institutions, like the State Fair of Texas, the Cotton Bowl, or Six Flags. It's also interesting to see where people from a certain region travel, whether it be close to home or across country. Whether they get there by car, by train, or by air. Most of the films that you've seen in this presentation were originally shot on 8, Super 8, and 16 millimeter film. Film is actually a relatively robust medium given the proper storage conditions. Ideally, film should be stored in a clean, cool, dark, dry environment, away from excessive heat, humidity, and light, which will accelerate their normal deterioration. While preserving the original materials is highly important, we also encourage people to have them digitally reformatted as part of the preservation process. Home movies shot on videotape are of much greater risk due to their inherent instability and the disappearance of equipment available to play and reformat it. We strongly encourage people with videotape collections to have them digitally reformatted as soon as possible. Digital video is also a high-risk situation. With our phones and our devices, we're generating enormous amounts of video content every day. I encourage you all to reevaluate your storage methods. Facebook, YouTube, Vimeo, they're not archives and they're not permanent storage. This project has been so extremely rewarding. I've gotten to travel all over Denton County and meet so many different wonderful people who have been making Denton great for so many years. It's been a real privilege to be a part of this project and to help preserve these home movies for families and for their future generations. I want to really thank everyone who participated in this project, especially the families who so generously donated their materials to the project. It's been a real pleasure working with all of you and I can't wait to see your home movies too.